Hi, my name is Chris Young, and I'm here to demonstrate how I built an Internet of Things infrared remote using my IRLib library and the Pinocchio platform. Pinocchio is a uh, crowdsource funded project from Indiegogo. It's a AT Mega 256 RFR2 that has a built in mesh network. It has two different varieties. One called the Lead Scout, that's shown on the top. It has a Wi-Fi backpack on it. And then there are Field Scouts, shown here on the bottom, that uh, use the mesh radio. My project would work with either one, but you would need at least one Lead Scout for Wi-Fi access. Here's the infrared board that I've connected to it. It's one of my standard infrared I.O. boards. Uh, it's got a couple of uh, infrared LEDs three transistors. It also has an infrared receiver that we're not using in this project. Here's a close-up of the infrared board. And here's what the schematic looks like. The receiver portion on the left connects to the Pinocchio pin D4. We're not using that right now. And the infrared drivers and infrared uh, LEDs connect to pin D3. And that's what we're using in this particular project. Here's a web interface that I've created. It's an HTML page and JavaScript underneath. It connects to the Pinocchio API and sends scout script commands uh, to whichever scout you've configured it for. You can either click on the buttons as shown here or you can type a, a letter on the keyboard. Uh, for example, if I press the letter G it calls up the on-screen guide. Here we are showing off my Internet of Things infrared remote using the Pinocchio platform. You can see to the left here we've got the local news on the screen and on my computer monitor next to it I've got a bunch of buttons that I can click on. We're going to go click on the guide button Call up the on-screen guy. See what's on tonight. There's Hawaii Five-O. Don't want to miss that. Click OK. Hit record. And when we're done, we click exit. Call up the list. There's an episode of Two and a Half Men. Let's take a look at it. And fast forward. Pause. Rewind. Do anything we want. Call the on screen guide there. Info. Any function that I want, I can get. Here is a screen grab showing the uh, sketch that we uploaded to the Scout. It uses the capability to extend Scout script commands. Uh, it's built in function of the bitlash platform and we've just created a command called irsend that simply passes the parameters from the script command into my irlib you have a protocol number from 1 to 7 a 32 bit hex code that is the actual function and then some protocols have a variable number of bits that we specify as the third uh, parameter over here we have the uh, Pinocchio HQ front end that they provide and I've created a command called mute and using the uh, scout script and all I have to do is type the word mute and it sends the proper uh, protocol and code to mute and unmute the TV. You could make up a bunch of commands for whatever you wanted and just use 
the uh, front end here on hq.pinocchio. I've not yet released the code for this, but I will in a few days. I need to polish it up a little bit, maybe write a little documentation. But here's the contact information where you can find out more about this project, uh, my projects in general, my infrared library, and the Pinocchio platform.